All right, welcome back to the next lesson of our tutorial series on how to use the cross-platform native plugins to inside Unity. For this lesson, I'll show you how to use the sharing services. And once again, this lesson is officially sponsored by Voxel Busters, who are the developers of the cross-platform native plugins. So make sure that you check out their content, which I've linked to in the description below. Now the sharing feature is pretty self-explanatory. In the overview section of the documentation, it says the sharing feature lets you share your game content to other platforms. And the cross-platform native plugins share feature is actually really great because it'll give you the option to create a message or a post on virtually any other app you have installed on your phones. Though some of the apps might not be compatible for sharing your game. In the use cases section, it gives us three examples or principles for sharing your game content. The first is to share your player's experience. This is related to how you can create personalized messages or posts that show off the player's experience in your game, including screenshots of the player's score or gameplay. The second principle is the ability to share on social networks including Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, and more. This essentially allows the player to create a post on their personal profiles that then all their friends can see. The third principle is to share personal invites. Using many of the same social platforms, the cross-platform native plugin allows the player to create personal messages to a specific person, inviting that person to play your game. Setup for the share feature is super simple. All we have to do is enable it in our Essential Kit settings. And so I'll go to Window, Voxel Busters, Native Plugin, Essential Kit, Open Settings, and I'll enable the sharing services. In the usage section of the documentation, there's one required thing that we need to add to any script that we create for sharing, and that is the namespace using voxelbusters.essentialkit. The usage section then has four different options for sharing your game content. The first option is the message composer, which is for sending text messages. The second is the mail composer, which is for sending emails. The third is the social share composer, which is for creating a post on Facebook, Twitter, or WhatsApp. And the fourth option is for pulling up the share sheet, which allows the user to select which app they want to share your game content to. Now each one of these options has three examples or types of messages that can be shared. The first option is for sharing a screenshot, the second is for sharing a text message or a message of text, and the fourth is for sharing an image. The only thing that changes between these options is the class type for which composer you're using. The social share composer then has three sections on how to create each of those three message types for Facebook, Twitter, and WhatsApp. But the method that we're going to be focusing on for this tutorial is the fourth option, which is the share sheet. This is the option that I typically use in all my games because it allows the player to select which app they want to share your game content to. There's also a few more examples in this section for the different messages and attachments that can be shared. But from here, we're going to jump over to our Unity project. All right, so inside Unity, the first thing that we want to do is create a new c -sharp script, which I've named IG underscore sharing. And once we have this script created, we can open it up. And when you have the script open, the first thing that we need to do is add that namespace up at the top. And so I have using voxelbusters.essentialkit. I've then created two variables, which are both serialized fields of type string. The first one I've called text message and the second I've called image name. Now going back to the documentation, you can essentially pick whichever message type is going to work best for your game and implement that example into your project. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do the main ones. And it's really quite easy. First, we wanna select the section of code that we want to use and we're going to copy it. We'll then go back to our script and we want to create a public function that we can then pair to a UI button that will initiate the share feature. So here I have a public void function which I've called share text and I've just pasted in all the code that I copied from the documentation. We then want to go to the add text function and we'll replace the parameter with our text message variable. This will allow us to change the default message that the player is going to share inside the inspector. Now text message is good and I often embed the URL for my game on Google Play or the Apple App Store inside that text message dependent on which mobile platform the player is using but it's kind of boring and so you might want to share something like a screen 
screenshot along with that text message. And for this, we can go back to the documentation and we can copy the second example and then go back to our code. And here I've created another public void function, which I've called share text with screenshot, and I've pasted in this code. You then want to change the parameter for the add text function with our same text message variable. And the code from these two functions is virtually the same, but this new example adds the add screenshot function. Now this will essentially take a freeze frame of what's ever currently showing on the player screen and attach it to the message that they're going to share as an image. Now a couple examples of where to call this function in your game would be one on a game over screen or a win screen where you're showing the score that the player was able to get or if you want you could allow the player to take a screenshot during the game that would allow the player to get very unique screenshots to be shared. Another example would be to have it on the player's character page where they can share their player's unique avatar and the level they've reached. But one word of caution would be if you implement this on your main menu. Sometimes main menus can be pretty boring and so you might want to create some sort of poster panel that displays the player's high score and enable that panel before you call the add screenshot function and disable it after you call the share sheet dot show function. These are all ways that you can customize the message that the player will share to better fit their personal experience. Now the last example that I'll show you how to use is the share image example. For this we'll just select all this code, copy it, and go back to our script. Here I've created a public void function called share image and I've pasted in that code. We then want to change the parameter for the resources.load function to be our image name variable. This will look for an image by this name within our resources folder and save it into this texture variable. This texture variable is then being passed into the add image function where it'll be included in our shared message. And so for this example, you'll first want to make sure that you have an image within your resources folder that you want to share. And then inside the inspector, you'll want to set this image name variable, the name of that image file. Now, once you have your script created, you can go ahead and save it and we'll go back to Unity. Inside Unity, the first thing that we want to do is create an empty game object, which I've called Sharing Service Manager, and we want to attach our sharing script to this object. And so for the text message variable, you might have it say something like, Hey buddy, check out this new game. I bet you can't beat my score. And then once again, if you're using the share image function and you have an image within your resources folder, then you'll set this variable to the name of that image. Next, I've created a canvas and I've created one UI button, which I've called share button. I've then repositioned and anchored this button to the top left corner of my canvas and I've changed the text so that it says share. Now for your game you're going to want to customize this button so that it better fits in with the rest of your project. You could also just replace the button with that share icon. We then need to scroll down to the on click of this button and we'll add an event. Then want to drag our share service manager into this field after which we can use the drop down menu to go to IG sharing and then you can pick whichever share function you want to use. So I have the share image, share text, or share text with screenshot. Now once again for the share feature there's not a testing section in the documentation and there's not really anything that I'd be able to show you inside the Unity editor. Now the easiest thing to do is to build your project to a mobile device like an Android phone and then test the on click of your share button. If it brings up a native window with a bunch of the apps that you have installed on your phone you can then select one of the apps like Facebook or Twitter and if it redirects to a post form that's populated with a screen shot or the default text message from the inspector, then everything should be working properly. Now that's everything that we're going to cover in this lesson on how to use the sharing services. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure that you give it a thumbs up, leave any questions you have in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next one.